Hello, greetings and good day, one and all, ladies and gentlemen, my humble lot of subscribers and audience, people and the like and etc, etc, etc. Welcome back to Let's Play The Binding of Isaac episode number 13. And hopefully this time we will be able to enjoy another journey through mom's basement without any horrible throat scrubs. And if you watched the last episode, you should all know what exactly I am talking about. And if you do, you should also remember my little custom outro. Oh, that took me quite a while to edit and I hope that you appreciated it. Well, not just that, but I hope that you enjoyed it, most importantly. And if you did, that makes me happy. In any case, yes indeed, we are once again back with another episode of Isaac, because this game is so very awesome and its awesomeness will never stop. First of all though, before we throw ourselves into the basement part 1, I'd like to take a quick look at the items I unlocked after the last playthrough because I didn't feel at all like checking them out when it actually happened, therefore better late than never, here we go. So yes indeed, um, Deaths 9, Jesus Christ, 3 mom kills, 3 abeloxine, there are still a lot to go though. But that's not important right now. This, however, is, first of all, the nail. Oh yes, this lovely little piece of plot convenience that revived me. <laughs> we unlocked this by, I believe, simply beating mom self for the third time. Also, a cross. This was unlocked by beating mom's heart with Maggie, Magdalene, whatever you want to call her. How very fitting. She's the character with the most health, basically like a nurse. And nurses wear those lovely white hats. Yes, I'm just gonna call it hats. Or them hats with red crosses on them, therefore Maggie across lots of hearts a nurse female, it fits so very very much. But I'd say that is about everything we need to check out over there in the item section. Let us jump into the game. The only question is who is going to be our <laughs> victim this time around. Hmm. See, the thing is, I do remember that I mentioned I would definitely test out the latest addition to our character selection here, Eve, this time, but truth be told, I am not all that sure after all. Uh, let's see. Isaac, Eve, Isaac, Eve, Isaac, Eve, hum -de -de -dum -dum. what am I talking about? Ah yes, well you see one at all, Eve only starts with one heart. One freaking heart! Yes, of course, she comes with two items right off the bat, the dead bird and the whore of Babylon. That has some symbolism, I know it. But... But... Oh, the memories. I mean, sure, I've beaten the game before, with uh, Judas, for example, and he only starts with one heart too, I believe, but... Uh, I've been incredibly tempted, as you can probably tell, to test out Isaac again. Because, see, one at all, so far we've beaten Mom's heart with Magdalene, Cain and Judas. Therefore, only beating it with Isaac and Eve can yield another new item. Next to the, of course, item that is unlocked by simply defeating Mom's heart for the god knows how many is time. Therefore, hmm, maybe I should just save up Eve for last and go with Isaac this time. After all, this is his game. If we didn't use him in such a very long time, wouldn't it be fair? Isaac, the most standard average character of the game, yes, I've decided, I made up my mind. Into the basement with you, young boy, we've got some business to take care of once again. So here we are again, one and all, welcome to the basement part 2, and we have a chest including two keys right off the very bed that makes me one happy, lone lost child down in the darkness of my mom's basement and house, oh yes indeed. What can I say? Well, this is, like always, the area you want to get through as fast as possible, I think I mentioned that plenty of times already. The basement basically determines how successful your run is going to be in the future. You can either stumble upon lots and lots of goody goods, or you can stumble about nothing at all. For example, um, gaze upon how I take care of all these mountains of fecal matter, hoping that there's going to be a very, very lovely item inside, like a coin. And of course, as you can see, yep, there's nothing inside of them at all. I just took care of the rotten garbage and disease and ooh. This is a lovely room. Took care of all the poop mountains, but it didn't yield a goddamn bloody thing. Delightful. This room, however, is more to my liking, and since I have that one bomb, 
Nico! And two cents into my possession you go. Oh, if only I had more ammunition at my disposal, that would make my day. As I was saying though at the very beginning, basically the very first item room of the game always determines how successful your run could turn out to be. For example, you could find a very, very lovely item such as the chocolate milk right off the very bed. Or you could find something that is incredibly useless such as the armor firing my son of a bitch laser. Well, there goes the basement boy achievement, an achievement, a pill, an achievement you can unlock by beating the basement without taking any damage whatsoever. Well, that's just gone out the window. Pills here, yeah? orange ones, what do they do? I always feel afraid to use new pills. Oh my, what do we have here? This is not bad at all, but also not good, because I've never seen this before. This is one of Eve's starting items, the dead bird. Well, that's interesting. Now I feel like Eve, just a little better with more health. So, we found that bird, yes, um, there it is, just laying or sitting on our head. Is it really dead? Who knows. But what does it do? How do I activate its effect? Why can nobody ever give me bloody instructions on how to use all these crazy mechanisms and machineries and bits of items and obscure legendary artifacts we find down here in mom's basement? Ugh, what a mouthful. Just gonna quickly take care of these hives here because they are insignificant, they are not important at all. Or should I call them popcorn dudes? Because that's what they look like, that's what they will always symbolize in my head. Isaac loved popcorn in his childhood, therefore these creatures symbolize popcorn? Wait a minute, since when the hell do the binding of Isaac enemies actually symbolize something from his actual life? I think I'm confusing Cry of Fear and Silent Hill here. Oh well, doesn't matter. Uh, I have one bomb. But is it worth it? What should I use it for? I could search for the secret room, but... Money! My heart belongs to the money, my heart belongs to the greed. Oh my god, hopefully he didn't hear that. In any case, I guess it is time to face the boss. Because we really can't do much else up here in the basement part one. We don't have any other bombs. <laughs> Look at all the money. Aha! Full health! Yes, I decided to use the pill and it actually didn't result in anything bad. Who do we have? Oh my! Isaac versus the Duke of Flies. Yes indeed, this is the very boss we encountered for the very first time within the last episode, number 12. This is actually the boss we have seen little to nothing at all this far into the Let's Play. Little to nothing at all this far, sounds so incredibly wrong. Ladies and gentlemen, the Duke of Flies. As far as I can tell, it's just a gigantic floating mass of flesh with a huge lovely grin spinning out flies to the wind. In fact, if you pay enough attention, you can actually see a huge army of flies growing or hatching with in his very mouth. That's disgusting. Well, this guy isn't really all that tough, but he's also taking much longer to be defeated this time around. Maybe because we are not using the game kit. That was certainly a cheap strategy. Oh my god, help, I'm trapped! Ah! Okay, okay, I- oh, Jesus! I should respect this guy a little bit more, I presume. So he basically has the, like, Halo of Fly ability or something. Well, unless, of course, you just destroy him completely, then his ability isn't worth- oh, wait a minute. The dead bird, I just noticed. It's it's no longer dead, it's flying about. And it attacked my enemies, just like a upgraded meat boy. Um oh there's a blue tinted rock, I believe. Dead bird, how? And and why? And how how did I activate your effect? I mean I mean thank you, and he looks cute, but damn, I need to marble about this now. Marble about it, ha ha ha. That doesn't even make sense. Well, here we are, within the basement part 2, and how did I activate the effect of the dead bird? I really don't know. Well, what I know is that we are about 9 minutes into the episode, which is not making me happy at all. Normally I am trying to beat mom's basement as fast as possible, because this is like the preparation tutorial area of the game. You want to get out of here as fast as possible, repeating phrases to no end. This is the fiery cross-shaped room. Fiery cross-shaped room. I just need to repeat that, unless I, unless I actually make sense of myself. But that doesn't make sense in the believing of apple pie. It comes to the conclusion of uh, cheesecake, and cheesecake in combination with uh, uh, muffins, chocolate-flavored muffins results in hoppers and homing flies trying to kill you. Yes, I guess uh, that was a logical thing to say. Phew, dodge the bullet there. I almost sounded like a retard. Well, there was a lot of uh, coinage in that room, and there are so many blue tinted rocks, but I can't get any of them. 
Come on, give me some bombs, will you? My stalkery friends down here in the basement, do you have some ammunition to spare? Praise the Lord and pass the ammunition indeed. We are in the middle of an apocalypse. Children fighting children. Yet, ooh, this is the same sort of room layout I've seen already on the last floor. Uh, not that it matters. I only care about the loot. And there was actually a coin in that fire. Who lost it there? It shall always be a mystery. Well then, here's the second item room. Is it going to be bad or good? Oh, this is the... Well, to be honest, I have no idea what this thing is called in English. Bugger. But I know what it is. I know that Julius Caesar wore this on top of his hat. And that I believe Jesus Christ also wore it on top of his hat. Aha, the blood of the matter. Damage up. Oh yes, I like me some damage up and red tears. Oh, damage at four. I like that. If only I could find some fire rate up upgrades now. Fire rate up upgrades, Jesus Christ. And that would make me happy. But basically even out the floor that I suffered from in so many of the previous episodes where I had no firing speed whatsoever. <sighs> well, now I have a bomb at long last though, but what should I use it for is the question. Here we have the arcade, and you all know what that means. Let's invest some quality time just standing about doing nothing. Die, spittery bastard! You cannot escape my wrath! Now then, what should I do with this bomb? Like, I could... I could search for the secret room, I could blow up a blue tinted rock, or I could actually, um... I could also, uh, free the golden chest in one of the lower rooms. Should I? Well, I have the keys, and maybe there's a secret room right here? I think I'm going to risk it. Ooh, fail. Oh, well, at least a tarot card, I guess that's a plausible thing to give me. Temperance. What does Temperance do again? I think Temperance summons down a slot machine. I'm not too sure though, but oh well. Giving me a tarot card sounds reasonable. Now then, unlocking the shop could be a bad idea because of greed. Should I enter it? Well, now I already open it, so I guess what the hell. Oh, damn, I knew it. There's only a ladder. I have the money to buy it, but the ladder is not really all that useful to me. It would be a waste. Oh, fucking dandy. So now that I triggered the shop, I of course also triggered greed down in the depths. Delightful. Hello there! Today we are fighting Gemini down here in the basement part 2, and it is also a champion version. Whoa. And the little Gemini is actually shooting bloody bullets at me. Maybe that's the special effect that comes from it. Ladies and gentlemen, today or tonight, whatever, we have come together in the basement part 2 arena where two enemies are facing off against each other. In the, I'd say, left corner. With a weight of I don't even know, and an appearance of a little child, crying tears of sadness and all. Isaac! Applause, please! And in the right corner, a terrible, deformed couple of twins. One of them incredibly retarded and disgusting looking, the other one equally disgusting, but small and uh, now enraged since his brother just bit the dust. Gemini! Yes, as you can probably tell, there's not a lot I can say about this boss in particular. He just charges at you, and you run away. Yes, just run away, like a little sissy, but it's the plausible thing to do, of course. Maybe there's also a little bit more strategy involved at times, like today, where he's actually shooting stuff at me, but we already took care of that problem, so I am wasting words here. Please die, Gemini. Please die, Gemini. That's a rhyme. Indeed, I am feeling so proud of myself now. Not really. Boss number two down, and we have a door leading to the room of Satan. What could he have in store for us today? Also, oh, ah, damn it. I didn't really... Nickel. I wanted to say I didn't mean to spend a heart on the blood machine. It was actually a blood machine and not a slot machine, but now it gave me a nickel and I'm tempted. Temperance, yes indeed, have all of my money. And by money I mean all of my hearts. Have all of my blood, juice, life, energy stuff. Satan, my good friend, what do you have in store for us today? This is not gonna be a good idea at all, but I don't care, it's Isaac! Oh, fuck me! That's the nail! The most awesome item of all time! Is it really? Well, the nail basically turned uh, Magdalene into a flying demon, and it also saved me from death! What do you know? So, should I take this thing with me? Oh, the temptation is there! The temptation is definitely great, but mm, no, 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 can't risk it. I am a servant of Jesus Christ. I have the blood of the martyr for crying out loud. I will only serve the Lord. You will not possess me, Satan. Then again, the Lord is evil. The Lord corrupted my mom's soul, and therefore she is trying to kill me. No, 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 you must not give in to Satan. 
But Satan is your friend, Isaac. Satan is your one and only friend down here. God is the evil one in this game. No, you you mustn't do it. I mean, you have all the hearts. It's not really a big loss, but it could screw you up in the long run. What if the nail actually sucks? Oh, what should I do? Yeah, what should I do? Must not give in. The devil is evil. The lord of terror. The lord of hatred. The lord of sin. Of lies. The lord of destruction. The lord of pain. Of anguish. He just wants to corrupt my very soul. He wants to turn me into his servant once again. It's not worth it. No, I am not going to do it. Not even for the sake of my audience. Nope. Ladies and gentlemen, I am sorry. I will not pick up the nail. It's just not worth it. I know you all want to see it, but I believe in the Lord. Yeah, you know what? Fuck the Lord. Give me the nail, Satan, my best friend. Oh yeah, I can feel its power flowing through my veins, even though I can't really see any um, appearance effect. Appearance effect? Jesus, really? What did the nail do? It entered my body, I guess. My tears haven't changed one bit. What did it do? Should I just use it? This is awkward. What if I actually just wasted hearts for a useless item? Hmm. I guess testing it out can't hurt. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ho, 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 ho! I am a demon! I am a demon indeed. I am a dark demon of the night. Oh, fuck. And a servant of Satan once again. Also, the nail gave me... The nail actually gave me a soul heart. What do you... Wait, what? Really? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I, 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 yep, I, did, I, I didn't even mean to touch the blood machine there. I can break rocks by walking over them. I can break rocks by walking over them. Look. Ah, damn it. The effect has worn off, so it's only for one room. Uh, I should have should have guessed or known or whatever. Okay, looks like the nail is a is a very, very, very pleasuresome item to have after all. It turns me to zombies. Oh god, I trapped myself, did I? Oh god, Yeah, image is screaming for the wind. That's going to save your story, STSC. So the nail turns us into a demon. It turns us into a demon and 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 Hey there! The dead bird that's acting up again. To be honest, I didn't even pay any attention whatsoever to it ever since I found it. How does it activate? And also, this little guy needs a name. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you say? Is he cuter looking than little chubby? Mm, maybe not, but he's definitely a cutie though, isn't he? I like me, that bird. But how does he activate? Why am I not paying attention to newly acquired items? It's just insane. Oh well, at least we are making some good progress. I mean, oh, thanks for nothing, you dickholes. We are on uh, the caves, part one. Wait, 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 what? Oh my god, are these leapers? Ah! They are leapers! What are the leapers doing down here? We are only on the caves, part one. You guys are supposed to lure down in the depths or the womb, for all I care. Why are you here? This is even a champion leaper. Well, there we have the boss door, right off the bat, but as always, I am tempted to just storm in there and kick its ass, but nah, let's find the item room first. So, as I was saying, no idea how the dead bird activates, but I will pay more attention to it from now on. I have a theory, though, a very simplistic theory that I am tempted to just test out, but uh, it's not worth it, not right now. I mean, did I get hit yet down here? There's an achievement for every floor in this game. For example, if you can manage to beat the caves without taking damage, you get the cave boy achievement. Ah! Get away from me. Oh my god, Jesus. So I don't really want to test out something. You see, I am thinking that maybe the dead bird will only spawn as soon as I take damage. But if I take damage on purpose now just to test it out, it would steal away from me the ability to earn that one achievement I just talked about. Uh, it's, is it worth it? Not really. Here we have another shop, but I already entered one. I have so much money, sure, but it's not worth it. Greed. Greed is gonna ruin anything. I mean, everything. I mean, ah! Don't you fucking dare ruin my achievement. I mean, I didn't even pay attention. Maybe I ruined it or lost the right to earn it already, but I don't care. I shall not take any damage. Item room! Grant me something delicious and lovely and useful. Ah. A baked bean! Only today! For the price of nothing, free of charge! The most amazing item in the world! Bad gas effect, I presume. 
Thanks for nothing. Yeah, I'm gonna say chef on my nail, dying So the nail, uh, upon usage, gives us one soul heart, turns us into a demon with increased firepower, I presume it also allows us to just break rocks by walking through them. Damn, that's one overpowered item if I ever saw one. Well, sure, we found quite a lot of other very useful items already in this game, but seriously, this thing has an amazing effect. If only I had a battery, that would make it so much more broken. Oh well, I have bombs, but I don't feel like uh, checking out anything else. Let's face the boss. Chop! My best friend of all time. Well, actually, no, nobody likes you, Chop. They only like your son, or whatever he is. Little Chubby, where is he? What have you done with him? Give him to me, you bastard! You better drop him upon me killing you as a demon! What the hell am I talking about, though? I'm a servant of God, not of Satan. Then again, <laughs> I am infused with the blood of the Matura, but I am also infused with a nail that was dropped, given to me by Satan. So whom do I belong to anyway? Do I serve the Lord of the Underworld, the Lord of Hell? Or do I serve the Lord of the Heavens? Maybe both. Yes indeed, maybe I'm just a freak of nature today. Maybe I'm a fusion, some kind of Genesis dude. That doesn't even make sense. I am a servant of both Satan and God. And they are constantly fighting over me, over my loyalty. Hey Satan, today he's my servant. Oh no, today he's mine. <laughs> oh, it's such a delightful joke, it will never get old. Oh hey, job is almost defeated. Also, I think my theory was right. The dead bird actually summoned upon taking damage. And oh great, yeah, I am such a badass demon right now and you have to screw up my look with the fucking mom's heals item. Well, to be honest, it's kind of pretty. Gosh, did I really just say that? I don't believe it. Well, in any case, we are 20 minutes. Oh, look at my mouth. Did I only just notice that? Why am I so slow today? Like, do you see all the blood? Yes, I am a servant of Jesus, all right. That's why my mouth is covered in fucking blood, and that's why my teeth look so very demonic, and you just stole the fucking achievement from me. How could you? Why? I tried to earn it. I had the right, I had the choice, the possibility. And you just stole it away from me. They stole it. In the very end, my efforts didn't even matter. Because all of these fucking creatures down here are just abominations spawned from my mom's womb. Squeezed out of my mom's vagina. They are possessed by God. They are. Oh, a nickel. They are evil. Oh, a so lot. They are so very evil. And I don't care about them. Oh darn, this is uh, more damage. Stupid, stupid damage. This is always a delightful room layout to have. Fucking spikes covering the walls. Pfft, yeah, the walls. Talking about the floor. Well, there's the boss room right off the bat. Who could it be this time? Let's see. I, I won't even say anything to that. That bird, get him. You're a bird. You're supposed to eat insects. God damn it. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please feel free to give this guy a name? Because I can't be original today. We have little chubby, but this thing doesn't have a name. Please, be so kind and post in the comments what you would name the dead bird. That'd be something awesome and cute at the same time. Everyone loves the dead bird, just look at it. It's not even dead, it's flying about. It's like a zombie. I am a zombie. That is, to be honest, a reference to one of my more obscure Let's Plays. Let's play Toho 13 10 Desires. Ah! I wonder how many people remember that Let's Play. Well, here we are. We are catered long, long last, and you all know what that means. Just like always, grab yourself a bag of popcorn. Grab yourself a bag of, I don't know, nachos, nacho cheese, whatever. Grab yourself a can or bottle of Coke, soda, Sprite, Fanta, product endorsement, whatever. And sit back, enjoy me, wasting time, money, and blood while trying to acquire useful items. That's a nickel. I love you, blood machine. Now, if only you could explode and give me a blood pack as well. Oh, thank you. Jesus Christ, is it just me? Or does Isaac actually suffer from more good luck than Cain? Seriously? I picked up the... And also, I do not feel too tempted to waste the rest of my money. I like to save it up for the shop. Is it just me? Or like, I mean, Magdalene found the luck foot, didn't she? I believe she did in my last episode, so... <clears throat> she didn't find any good items because of it, though, whatsoever. The pills sucked bad gas all the time. What am I supposed to take from that? Isaac has more luck than any of the other characters? Well, he is the main character, so I guess I shouldn't really be too surprised. 
So far things are going quite alright, wouldn't you say? If only I had my lovely, lovely, uh, what was it called again? My, oh my god, the leap! No way, those are actually hoppers. Ah, but they are immolated. Oh my god. Nail activate. I am a servant of the Lord, but a servant of the devil as well. You will all die. Oh, what do you know? They are all dead. Never mind. Getting back on track, though. I am a servant of... No! I didn't mean to trample that rock. I wanted to blow it up with a bomb so I could acquire the chest. But I actually destroyed it by stepping on it. It's gone and it will never return. You ooze zombies. It is all your fault. Alas, my poor enemies. I know you well. And I hate you with a passion. Therefore, you must die. Yes, so it shall be. So it will happen. So it has been written. Mine destiny is to defeat mine enemies. What am I talking about? As I was saying though, I am a zombie. It is a reference to my Toho 13 Let's Play. Yoshika, Miyako, one and all. Oh yes indeed, I am still such a Toho nerd. Still though, that has nothing to do with today's episode of Let's Play The Binding of Isaac, of course. Where's the item room at? Oh my god, I'm getting hit like crazy. That bird, what are you doing? Go get him. You're just flying about like a useless buffoon. There you go. You're getting them, champ. Actually, you're not getting them at all. Jesus Christ, the item room is so very far away today. More Ooh Zombies. Of course, they have other official names, truth be told. But I don't care about them official names. I want to be unique and original. Therefore, I will call these guys whatever the hell I please, or whatever the hell pleases me. Now then, could this secret room be up here? Oh yeah! Who's the master of the awesome? I am the master of the awesome. Really? Only three cents for the master of the awesome? And who the fuck are you anyway? Just sitting in that secret room all day long. Hello, I am Error. Now then. Oh hell, it's Fischler. Where did these Fischler spawn? Just tiny little baby creatures and do not make a mistake. Thankfully I have lots of movement speed and my Toho dodging skills. Therefore they cannot hurt me. Nothing and nobody can hurt me. Yeah, that's the reason why I failed to get that achievement, right? Right? Oh well, here we have the item room. Maybe it's going to be chocolate milk. Maybe it's going to be a battery. Maybe even brimstone. I take everything, really. Just make me happy. Give me something of use. Aha! I do not remember what this item does. Well, it looks like a heart. Is this the... Could this be the less than three? I believe so. I think Gluttony drops this item every now and then. Let's pick it up. Yoink! Yes, indeed, it is the less than free HP up. Good. Jesus. Satan, look at my health bar. It's amazing. So wait, 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 wait a minute. What am I right now? I am infused with the blood of the Maturer, right? I am infused with the blood of Jesus Christ, sure. Um, but not just that. I am also infused with the nail of Satan. Which makes me a servant to both of them. I'm so confused right now. Then there's also that um, weird uh, thing I am wearing on top of my hat. I know what it's called in German, but not what it's called in English, so sue me. But yeah, that thing on top of my hat also represents Jesus. Uh, but what about the heart? The heart is rather disgusting. Shouldn't it represent Satan? I'm so torn. I look like a fucking disgusting demon abomination that the Lord gave birth to. Oh my. Oh my indeed, it's Gertie. This fucking abomination. I mean, just look at it. It's a huge, gigantic, help me, Jesus Christ, Satan and hell, heavens, whatever. It's a gigantic pile of guts and blood and flesh and meat and everything with a tiny little creature inside of it. And that tiny little creature known as Gertie is actually supposed to be female. If you can believe the official story on the Dividing of Isaac wiki, which is just wrong. So very, very wrong. In any case, what can I say about Gertie? It's been a very long time indeed. This fucking thing is annoying. Annoying as all hell. And thankfully, ah! I have the assistance of my dead bird here. It's just eating away at a huge pile of flesh that's disgusting and delicious at the same time. But yeah, Gertie, have a bomb. Go have some bombs, bitch! This thing has way too much health. That's the biggest problem. Also, it shoots bullets all over the place. And the organic plants it summons, accompanied by bullet bees and homing flies, are not making things any easier. 
As long as you have lots of movement speed, it's not all that difficult, not impossible. I'd say you can just walk from the left to the right, rinse and repeat, but without? Without, it can be a very challenging battle. Now, what do we have here? Thank God Gertie is dead or thank Satan. Probably Satan because here's a reward by him or of him. I don't care. The pentagram pendant. So wait a minute, whom do I belong to anyway? Whom do I serve? I have so many items belonging to God, but also so many belonging to the fallen angel himself. Probably more of the fallen angel than the lord of the light though, so damage up yay. <coughs> I'd say, wait what? I had the damage of 4 before, after picking up the I believe blood of the matter, so why is it still 4? I just picked up the pentagram that doesn't make any sense. Ah, whatever. You're just trying to screw me over. You're trying to screw with my mind because I am obeying both of the lords. Therefore, you cannot make up your mind. Do you want to spoil me with good items or do you want to spoil me with lots of buffoonery? Just bring it on. Bring it all on. Well, not this much though. Help! Toho dodging skills activate. One second, folks. I need to concentrate in here. Yee. Yeah. That was a close one. That was what I like to call a close Damaku encounter. Oh, I sound so very original. So kawaii. Oh dear. I can't believe I just said that. Oh my god. I might as well just quit. Quit YouTube altogether. Nobody who makes a kawaii reference or nobody who says kawaii is allowed to live as a human being with any kind of dignity anymore. So what do we have here? This is the leather belt. Which tempts me to make a silly nerd World of Warcraft reference. Once again, I already did this one once. Oh, it's a leather belt. Ah! Level 14? <laughs> yes, believe me, that weird, weird phrase actually exists. Just enter leather belt World of Warcraft into YouTube and see what you get. It's quite hilarious. And quite pathetic and stupid at the same time. So, oh, I didn't even pay attention. This is a mini boss chamber. Lust. One of these seven deadly sins. I was wondering when I would encounter one of you. However, today your strategy doesn't work, for I can simply destroy all of your walls of cover and protection. Now you have no protection loss, and therefore you will receive AIDS from the devil. Oh yeah. That actually worked out, can you believe it? Well, I'm not surprised, really. I mean, look at me. Would you... What the hell? Oh my god, what did I just do? I used a tarot card, I believe, and it resulted in my doom. Yes, indeed. I am just not paying any attention at all today. I am just talking away using items. The thing is, though, I am using these items without realizing that I am using them. I will just talk about something random, a random topic related to nothing at all, and just by accident, because I feel like it, press the use pill, so use tarot card button, and oh my god, the situation could quickly get out of hand. Ah! There goes the Depths Boy achievement as well. Wow, I screwed up three achievements this far. How well will I fare down in the womb? <laughs> Taking no damage down in the womb. Well, I believe... No, I don't want you to die, Isaac. I believe my damage uh, raised a little bit. Why? Just... Just what is going on today? This is an amazing run so far. But I'm confused. Like, like, how did I turn on my computer? How did I get in front of my monitor? Why am I typing something into the keyboard right now? What am I doing here? Wait, this isn't my house? What the hell is going on? Why are there bullet bees shooting at me? Bloody projectiles of doom. <sighs> Calm down, TSC. It's just the pressure. The pressure of lots of people on the internet watching you trying to best mom spaceman. It's just the pressure. Calm down. Be calm. Play the Binding of Isaac like a true professional and everything is going to be alright. See? There are no enemies anymore. You killed them all. Do I want this chest? Nah. Or maybe not really. I don't know. Not for now. <laughs> Where could this secret room be located? I don't know. To be honest, I don't know a lot about anything today. I'm just a... Random guy uploading a judgment! My best friend, I'm gonna free you of course and I shall give you my money, finally! Dude, 
You wouldn't believe it. I, I just stumbled into this space, and now I completely lost all senses of professional commentary. Please, provide me with material. Yes, a key. Give me more. Give me the loot, my friend. Yes, half a heart. And um, where's the good stuff, though? Give me a health upgrade. Judgment. I, I, I also need some money for the groceries, so... Please don't steal everything. Ah, oh, there we go. Wheel of Fortune. Are you fucking kidding me? You greedy bastard. Where's my loot? Where's the battery? Or, or, or brimstone. Chocolate milk. Um... Something. Yeah. Judgment, what are you doing to me? Uh, my patience is running out. Judgment. Your fucking life depends on this. Okay, you only have one more try, fella. One more try. I swear I will kill you. One more. Judgment. What? Why? What have I ever done to you, you little shit? All the time. Oh, look at my money. There we go, Jesus! What the fuck was up with him? Like, how does this judgment system work? Sometimes he just gives you the good stuff right off the bat, and sometimes he takes your entire half-fucking wallet before he is willing to hand out anything. I am just so confused. Yes, I am still so very confused. I'm so confused right now! Really? Another one? This isn't happening. Oh my god, the leapers! Why? All of a sudden, ever since I lost the senses to make professional commentary, I am just getting bombarded. Bombarded with all sorts of shenanigans down here in the depths part one. We are not even at the boss yet. 35 minutes into the video and this is going nowhere. Focus, TSC. Once again, focus. I'm telling you, fucking focus. Vent your anger on something. Oh god, really not this room out again. <laughs> Why? Oh, Nickel, that cheers me up, that cheers me up so very much, I need to visit the shop soon. Soon! And hopefully there's not going to be a greed inside. Judgment? I... Oh, fuck you. Just, just fuck you. Fuck you, son. What should I do now, other than facing the boss? Is there anything left to do? Well, yes, of course, the shop. That's what I was just talking about, jeez. I... I avoided some of the shops in the caves. Because whenever you reach the depths, you will have the biggest, biggest, like, biggest, um, what's the word I'm looking for? You will have the biggest arrangement? Nah, you will have the biggest sortiment? You will have the biggest variety? I don't know, the biggest number, whatever the hell word one should choose in this kind of situation. Whenever you visit a shop in the depths, you will have the largest amount of items in store. Therefore, visiting the shop too early can screw you over, because it will summon greed down here in the depths, and... Yeah, you know what, the Leapers, it's getting old. So old. Maybe I should change it up a little. Oh my god, the Reapers! <laughs> this is so pathetic. Die, abominations. You're lucky that I have my nail and the dead bird. You're so very lucky, because without him I would most likely be dead already. Now then, shop number one, the cave spot one. Oh my, the steam sale. Well, I have so much money, really. And there's only one more shop in this playthrough, so should I? Um, ah, what the hell? It's not like this is gonna happen again. It's not like greed is gonna spawn, so... Steam sale into my inventory, also... Soul heart into my inventory. And the rest of these items, they can go screw themselves. Now then, I'd say we are done. Yes, we are most certainly done down here. If only I could charge up my nail, though. Like, there's only one square remaining. Oh, wait, is it actually ready? No, wait, it's ready. Judgment, you can still go fuck yourself. I don't care about your pathetic little existence. Give me those two cents! Random screaming can sometimes help you in troublesome situations. Die, blood machine! A white pill explosive diarrhea. Oh dear, now I feel tempted to search for the secret room or to just blow judgment here to kingdom come. What should I do? Judgment? My best friend? Yeah, we shall see each other again and again and again. Where could the secret room be? Actually, I'm gonna save this pillar for the boss. Who is it going to be today? Let's gonna make this epic. Oh dear, it's time to prepare ourselves for war. Get it? Here we have, finally at long last, one of the four horsemen. But you know what, war? You are a pathetic creature. You're not even worth my time. You've stole the anarchist cookbook ability, and that makes you one pathetic loser. All you can do is charge at me. Ah! 
You just heard me, and I moaned like a demon in pain. That actually makes me feel very, very turned on. I like it, I like it a lot. Oh yes, I like it. Oh, just look at him. War. What kind of fucking horseman are you supposed to be? I mean, a famine at least shoots bullets. Pestilence fucking shoots bullets all over the place. Death summons scythes, but you, look at you. He's like a spoiled shirt. Oh, stop moving, you jerk. You destroyed my horsey. I'm gonna get you. Ring around the rosy for smeet and war and then the dead bird dead but we're all having fun. I could do this all day. But all good things must come to an end sooner or later and therefore please don't take it personally war. I really love you. I mean I love you in Darksiders. You're like one of the most awesome characters ever. I love you so very much and I can't wait for Darksiders too. But you can die for all I care. Rest in peace war. And sweet bastard angels once again sing thee to thy rest. Now then, here we have the cube of meat, obviously. The one item that all the horsemen seem to drop all the freaking time, no doubt about it. Whew, well then, 40 fucking minutes into the video, this is going to be a one hour episode, right? Right, I am so certain of that. Well, here we are, down in the depths part 2. And we haven't found a map or a compass yet. Oh dear, this is gonna turn the womb into a challenging area once again. Seriously, I hate entering the womb without a map or a compass, cause the boss could literally be anywhere. Hello there, Blastocyst. You are supposed to be an enemy, a boss actually, down in the womb. Yet for some reason I didn't encounter you yet, maybe because you can only ever face one of the ordinary bosses down in the womb part 1. And so far it was always either death or Skolex. But you? Seriously, your spawns are everywhere. In medium or small sizes, but the actual blasters is nowhere to be found. Come on, get him, that bird. Oh, that was so mean. The black bird or dead bird catches the worm. Why did I just... I... What? 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 What just happened, man? I walked into that bomb like a fucking silly goose. I need to think about this for a while. Why would I just walk into a bomb? Maybe because I wanted to feel the warmth of an explosion and the shrapnel bits piercing themselves into my precious skin, my baby skin. Maybe because of that, or maybe I just wanted to inhale the smoke to get high on it or something. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, as you can hear, this is going nowhere. Now then, we have disposed of the rolling gut creatures. What could be next? Mom, where are you? Oh, there's a shop. And how chances are that greed could be possibly inside of it? Very slim. I ignored, I believe, two shops. Both of them in the cave, so... This shop shouldn't have greed inside of it. It just can't be. It's impossible. I wonder if you can just walk through the defenses of these guys in demon form. Ah, probably not. Now then, greed, you better don't be in here or else I'll have to kill you. I'll have to spill your guts all over the walls, you fucking bastard. Oh, thank the lord. And what do you know? The shop is full of useless items. The teleport remote, whatever? Nope, don't need it. Well, strength tarot card? Uh, it's not as good as the explosive diarrhea pill. At least a soul heart, but come on, really? This is what I ignored two shops for? Useless items? Come on. I am not happy right now. I feel so very unsatisfied. Oh, the sirens! Finally, I can say something new, not just the leapers. The sirens, everyone loves them, everyone appreciates them. Nah, I don't really, not at all. Thankfully, my Toho dodging skills will defeat them each time we meet. You need to understand one thing, ladies and gentlemen. Take a look at this siren. It fires aimed bullets. What does that mean? Well, you just need to step out of the way. You see? You watch me dodging. That's how it works. This is the number one rule you learn first in Toho games or overall shmups. If there's a bullet aimed at you, you just step out of the way. And that's it. Of course, the story changes a little if there are lots of bullets aimed at you. But then you also need to employ different strategies. But as long as it's just one bullet, like in this game, just step out of the way and you will never get hit. It's not like the bullet follows you. You see? Look at me. Look at me dodge these things. Look at me being all confident. They cannot hurt me. Come on, you guys. I defeated Ran Yakumo. I also have that video on my YouTube channel. You guys are no threat to me whatsoever. And hey, what do you know? The boss door is right here. Mom. 
I am right in front of her, her very doorstep. Oh mother, I want to kill you so very much because I love you. It's a love-hate relationship, really. But first of all, I'll need to... What did I just do? I wanted to say first I need to find the secret room and therefore use the pill. Oh, was it a card? I think it was a card. I don't even remember. But I summoned down the bombs. Hoping to blow up random walls, but forgot that the bombs drop randomly all over the place and not just close to the walls. Therefore, that plan totally failed. <sighs> oh well, I guess a new lesson learned. Look at this strategy though! Oh yeah, you see what I did there? I first laid bombs here and then shot them with my tears down to the lower wall and then ran up to blow up the upper wall as well. I'm a genius! Now then, item room, where are you? Also, um, yeah, we planted the shop already, so what's the use in finding all of this money? Maybe there's going to be another arcade? Maybe not, who knows? This episode is going to be one hour long. Unbelievable. And stop tempting me with all these slot machines. I really don't care about them. They can drop lovely items at times. Also, ooh, this is a full health pill. Never mind, I love this opportunity. Oh my god, ladies and gentlemen, look, look who it is. It's Larry Jr. Larry Jr. indeed, the one and only, even though there are three of them. The most amazing, awesome, badass, beautiful, magnificent, outstandingly fucking gah, boss of this entire game. I respect Larry Jr. so much. I would, I would fucking die for Larry Jr. I would entrust my life to him. That's how awesome Larry Jr. is, one and all. Everyone loves Larry. He's so cool. I want to be just like him. There. Are you satisfied now? Good. Moving on. Killing gluttony. Now, where was I before I completely derailed myself? Ah, yes, of course. Gluttony, one of the seven deadly sins and also the most easy and simplest of them all. And yet you just hit me there. Thank you. Thank you so very much for stealing my dignity, you fucking bastard. Okay, no comments here, one at all. I'll just speak up again as soon as we are done inside of this place. Yeah, just half my money. It doesn't matter. I have so little of it, and besides, there are no more shops in this game. Not in the womb. Just take all of my money and please stop giving me money. Oh, so the cube of meat seems to be protecting me quite well from these randomly spawning flies. I thank you. I thank you so very much. Yay, that's a heart. Now we can actually use the blood machine a little. Wait, what? Was that heart like a combination of spirit and normal heart? What? I am not even gonna question it. Please, would you stop giving me the money? I do not need the money. Give me bombs. Yes, give me keys. Give me something. Give me items, pills, whatever, but... Ah! Draw a bomb! That is not what I asked for. Could you please stop giving me money? Don't make me kill all... You're tempting me, aren't you? You want to feel the cold hands of death clutch away at your sorry skin, right? Oh, there's a pill. Well, thank you. No, wait, wait, wait. Tears up. All right. Thank you, slot machine. I love you. I believe the slot machine dropped the pill. Thank you so very much. I will spare your life today. Slot machine, marry me. Seriously, baby, marry me. Ah! Marry me, baby. I want you. Slot machine, I want you inside of me. Oh god, what am I talking about? In any case, um, yeah, I believe my brain just completely blacked out there. What's going on? Ah oh, yes, I just killed that guy for no reason because he is annoying me. Blood Machine, you're annoying me as well. And Slot Machine, you slept with another guy, didn't you? Fuck you. You're not faithful at all. <sighs> Everyone betrayed me. I'm fed up with this world. Don't touch me, motherfucker. Uh, in any case, yeah. I have so many bombs and so many keys and so much of everything that I don't need. Let's just open this crab up for whatever reason. Number five, the Hierophant? 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 There's something alright. It drops two soul hearts. Okay. So whatever the fuck that word is pronounced like, it drops two precious, precious blue hearts. I like that. 
There's only a slot machine and other shenanigans down there. Do I really care? I guess I could spill its blood. Oh hey, more Blastasis creatures. What's up, guys? My commentary has derailed itself and now I am angry. I need to vent myself. To be honest though, this is sort of a theme I've noticed I've been running into a lot lately. Whenever I am Larry Jr., the best boss down here in the depths too. It's Larry Jr., he's so very amazing and so cool. It's Larry Jr. Oh, Larry. Aha! Now I remember why I am still down here in the death spot too and not yet at mom's chamber. I wanted to find the item room. Just so much random stuff happened that I completely forgot what I was even doing. I was walking through the dark corridors of this place without without knowing a darn thing about my goals and intentions. How is it even possible? Well, here we have the uh, Forever Alone item. Attack fly! Serno! Serno the Barker! Serno the Nine! Serno the Toho reference! It's great to have you back aboard! I missed you! Oh yes, I missed you so very much, you little stupid ice fairy you! Come on now, tear apart my enemies! Make yourself seem a little bit more useful than in the actual game you belong to. Well then, it seems that we are done here in the depths part 2. There's nothing left we'll need to possibly accomplish. It is time to face mom for the... I don't even know how many is time, but does it matter? Nope. Mother, I have come to spill your blood. Here I go. Yeah. So... How does it look like in terms of my item loadout today? Well, first of all, I shall use my lovely nail that has been such a great, great companion this far to destroy the rocks and annihilate all the annoying rock-shaped obstacles which are actually rocks placed down by a mother to annoy myself. Yes, indeed. Look at your arena, mother. I am in charge of it now. No rocks to bother me all the time. I can dodge however the fuck I want. Oh, Jesus Christ, and yet I still get hit like a buffoon. But it doesn't... How the hell do you dodge that attack? I am always so very confused about it. Like, each attack of her is perfectly dodgeable. Like, the enemies, the foot, whatever. But the hands, they just appear the fuck out of nowhere. Ah! Is that like an indication of when they are going to pop out of the doors? I have no idea. That annoys me to no end. Oh, well. She's about dead. So there's really not a lot I can say other than sayonara, mother. I'll see you in hell, bitch! As you can see, it was not a problem at all. But maybe I should have said go to heaven. After all, mom has been corrupted by God and not Satan. Oh well. Time to move down into the dreaded area, the womb. Oh yes, many attempts of trying to play through the Binding of Isaac failed in this very place. Because the womb is evil. Mainly because of the terrifying enemies that lurk inside of it, such as the vaginal silkworms or 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 the vaginal wart-like creatures. Yes, these ones. Ah! Oh, that exact same attack! I remember that already ended one of my episodes and made me feel so very ashamed because I could have just stepped out of the way, but hell, not even a professional Toho player can dodge everything. Sometimes you just need to activate a bomb and clear the screen of all bullets. Sadly, in this game, that is not possible unless, of course, you are in possession of a item or an item that grants you permission to do so. Now then, just gonna quickly take care of these diglets here. Should I keep calling them diglets? They actually look like sugar pipes. Yes, indeed. Sugar pipes? Vaginal sugar pipes? <laughs> There's a single blast assist. And, of course, it doesn't stand a chance. Ooh, soul heart. Don't get cocky now, TSC. You know how... Many times the womb has bested you in the past already. Be careful, do not get hit by the bullets. Believe in yourself. Do not just charge in like a silly retard. Actually think ahead, plan ahead, have a strategy, save up your precious items such as the full health pill. <laughs> stupid, stu ah! stupid, stupid damage. Come on, TSC, you have more than enough health at your disposal. The boss door is right beneath. Just try to pay attention to your surroundings for bloody ones and you can take care of the threats in your way. Boss, uh, headless horseman. The headless horseman. Ah, uh, 
How the fuck is this guy even related to the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse? It doesn't make any sense. The Headless Horseman is from a totally different kind of lore, isn't he? So wait, what's going on here? Whoa. So, they are like two separate units. The Head Ogre that charges like famine, and it- Ah! It also shoots worlds like famine, even though it just collapsed with me and therefore destroyed itself. Ha <laughs> ha. And the body unit with the horse, it just flies about- Whoa. Flies about and fires off explosive projectiles just like pestilence and mom. I am at a loss for words. All of this happened so quickly I cannot even comprehend what just happened. Just kill it, Isaac. Just... Just remove this misery from the world. Do us all a favor. Wah! Little chat has been unlocked in the basement. Interesting. Also, item time. Looks like the head of the horse we just slaughtered. Okay. So how does the Headless Horseman relate in any way to the Four Riders of the Apocalypse? Am I missing something here? I have no idea. Well, that guy was sort of threatening with a different item layer that would have feared him a little bit more. But what does this item do? Looks sort of unique. I mean, a pony. We have fun- Whoa. Whoa. Whoa! <laughs> I am riding a pony! My little pony, my little pony, it eats intestines and is blood soaked. My little pony, my little pony, it tramples brains and squishes them. Oh, that's disgusting. In any case, a pony. We have a pony. And wow. Fuck the four horsemen of the apocalypse! I am the new rider of the apocalypse. There shall be only one. Wait a second. Right now I am looking like this because of the effect of the nail. So, oh. It's a spacebar item, the pony. I'd have to abandon my nail. So, what if I leave this room? Won't my appearance, 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 appearance just change back to the ordinary Isaac? That would be sort of lame, really. Let's test this out. Oh my god, look how insignificant small I am all of a sudden. My pony as well. Fuck this. The pony looks like an interesting item to have. This is my first time having it, of course. I bet you can fly over holes with this thing. And you can maybe charge in by using the space power ability, but nah. I prefer my demon stylish look and design and whatever. Therefore, I shall stick with the nail for it. Hello there, me. Oh, it also saved me plenty of times in the past. Hell, the fucking nail prevented me from dying a horrible death, choking on my own blood. Now then, welcome to the womb part two. We are almost there. I can feel it. Almost at mom's... Ah, almost at... Um, what's going on? What's happening? Why am I taking so much... Oh, eye laser. <laughs> Why am I taking so much damage? I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan at all. These things are evil. These things must be destroyed. So what's going on right now? I am about to face Momsart and I have plenty of health at my... Help me. I have plenty of... Oh my god, I have plenty of health at my disposal. I have a full health pill as well. In case of an emergency. I have my nail, whoa, and I have lots of ah attack power and firing rate as well. Why am I screaming so very much? Uh, I I can't fail. Oh boy, this is a big champion brain. Really? Did it just hit me? I am just searching for mom's chamber, you know. I don't want any trouble, you two. I just want to um. I want to. What do I want? Whoa. I want to destroy evil, yes indeed. I want to... I want to achieve salvation. Really? I stepped on the creep and I only have four hearts left in my bar. Are you serious? Like, are you kidding? Are you sure you're not just making things up? Are you sure that I am not just talking like a moron? <sighs> Hello there, me. Listen, I'm in a bad mood right now. This episode started off great, but whenever I reach the womb, it all goes downhill. You fucking new zombies, and there's another me! Oh dear, this doesn't really give me any time to make him commit suicide, I believe. Whoa. Don't stop running as a- Whoa! 
That's like a champion me, I believe, because he has so many big bullets. There we go. There we go. You see, it's all about planning and thinking ahead. Developing a strategy. Yes, indeed. And I feel like my throat is about to die again, therefore maybe I shouldn't really scream all the time from now on. I should just try to focus on full health will activate. I have no choice. I do not want to die. Everything is going downhill, man. All of a sudden. Everything went fine. Fistula, really? Why you? I, I don't even care anymore. Just 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 die, all of you. I don't care. I don't care about my enemies anymore. My throat is dying once again. It's not as bad, not nearly as bad as the last time. But I am getting hit so very much. I sound like a fucking crying sissy right now. Just die, all of you. I need to kill my own mother, and I cannot take it. She must be destroyed. She must be punished. Yeah, something, something, blah, blah, blah. Could there be a soul heart hidden within these rocks? Not really. Oh, gosh. Hello there, Raph. One of these seven deadly sins. Fuck you, I don't care. Ah! Hello there, giant brain. Yeah, fuck you guys, I don't care. Boss room! Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! Finally, something good. Finally, something I can work with. Just ignore the rooms are just completely passed by or passed up, whatever. They do not matter. The only thing that does matter is that we defeat Mom's son for the fourth fucking time when I said to acquire a new item. Here we go. Now focus, dear CY. Getting hit right off the bat. I am not a fan of that. I am not a fan of anything that involves getting hit by enemies, taking damage and <laughs> This is not going well, man. But I can do this. Mail activate. We just need to focus. Focus, do not step too close to the fucking enemy and blah or something. Whatever and stuff. I sound so very motivated right now. To be honest, I couldn't care less. <laughs> I just want to be done with this. This episode is already over a fucking hour long. I have no material to work with, it's the same procedure every time. Destroy mom's heart. I shall destroy mom's heart, sure. Why? You stole my soul heart, you evil disgusting creature. I will haunt you. My dead rotten body will haunt you forever. The devil will punish you. The lord will bless you. Yes, that's also a form of punishment if you're a creature belonging to evil. Receive the divine blessing of God and be annihilated. Now, TSC, don't fuck this up. Come on, dead bird, I totally forgot about you again. Pick mom's heart apart, will you? Feast upon her flesh. Yes, yes, almost there. Yes, come on, come on. Oh, yeah. What am I doing? Ladies and gentlemen, we have successfully beaten Mom's Heart for the fourth time. Yes, all right. It does start to get a little bit anticlimactic after the fourth time, doesn't it? Ah, oh, well, in any case, the only thing I care about, just like in MMORPGs or RPGs in general, hack and slays, whatever, is our loot. What do we get for defeating Mom's Heart? The first time it was Judas's fancy red hat. The second time a noose Isaac killed himself with. The third time the nail that saved our life and also turned us into a demon child. What's it gonna be this time? Happy or sad, Isaac? Yes, a happy Isaac. And a reward? A quarter. Wait. Seriously? A quarter? That's it? I mean, I have no idea what I was expecting, but a quarter? I don't even need to find this item to figure out what it could do. It's a quarter. If we find one, it will most likely grant us 25 cents. But... But... So... Uh, mm, uh, n n <laughs> never mind. I don't even know what I am complaining about. Maybe I was... Expecting Isaac to do something amazingly awesome, you know, the last time he turned into a fucking demon child and flew away. 
This time he only finds a quarter. Well, maybe this is supposed to be sort of a little in-between pause or a little in-between standby. A little in-between something, alright? You know, you see something uh, very awesome and amazing, then you see something not so amazing, in this case the quarter. Maybe next time it's gonna be something totally awesome and overwhelming again. Well, 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 what do you know? This episode has gotten over an hour long already. But that's what happens when you let's play The Binding of Isaac at least with my humble self. You can of course try to speed run this game, something I've been trying a lot already, but it just doesn't work. Mostly because it all depends on your item loadout and the, for example, pills and tarot cards that drop. You can have an amazing speedrun of this game, but as already mentioned, it totally depends on the things you actually find and stumble across, and of course the floor layout as well. Oh well, speedrunning doesn't matter to me. The only thing that does matter to me is that we succeeded at beating this game once again, and we received two rewards. The quarter and... Ah yes, of course, there was something else, right? Let me have a look at this real quick. First of all though, oh Jesus, we found so many items already, but a lot of question marks still remain. Yes, looks like this let's play will continue for quite some time still. Delightful. Now then, what about the items we found? There you have it. We've seen four endings, about six to go, I believe. The quarter for um, beating mom's heart for the fourth time. And also, nope, not this way. Oh. Little chat. Look at that fella. Is he blowing us a kiss? Smooch. He looks just like little chubby, just a little bit thicker. Also, I do know what this guy is from. Little chat. You see the C period, H period, A period, D period, or point, dot, whatever. He is from Super Meat Boy. What the fuck is this guy doing in The Binding of Isaac? Well, the same developer. <laughs> Whatever. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is The Shadow Cookie, and I shall see you all next time.